Hey guys, I'm so glad you liked this look on Instagram and so many of you wanted to see a tutorial. All right, let's get into it. All right, so I'm gonna start off by baking underneath my eyes with the Kat Von D Locket setting powder because I am gonna be going in with a black shadow and I'm just using my Real Techniques makeup sponge to apply this. Now I'm gonna go in with the black color from the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette and I'm packing this onto my lid with the Sigma E54 brush. So I'm focusing this on the lid and then kind of bringing it up to my crease, but I'm not gonna do any blending yet. I really just wanna pack on the color and make it as dark as possible. You could also use like a gel base or cream base underneath this, which is definitely gonna make it really, really dark. I'm picking up a little bit more of that black onto a blending brush and just blending around the edges of the lid. All right, next I'm gonna be going in with the Marc Jacobs Highliner in the color Irony. And I'm gonna be placing this on my waterline in the outer two thirds. Then I'm gonna go in with that black shadow on my City Color CCB 103 brush to set that liner and then start smoking out the lower lash line. Again, focusing this on the outer two thirds. I'm gonna do a little bit of blending with this cool gray brown shade because I really want my under eyes to be smoky. And then I'm gonna go in with this cool transition shade on my MAC 217 brush to further blend the lower lash line and use it to really smoke out that black in the crease. And I'm going back in with a little bit more of that black to get a real editorial cat eye going. I'm using my Smith 203 brush to really define and open that exaggerated inner corner that we're creating and then just softening that with my City Color brush. All right, I'm just gonna dust away this powder and thank God I used it because I definitely had a lot of fallout from that black. Now I'm going in with this white shade from the Makeup Forever Flash Palette and I'm using my Sigma E06 brush. This is a really tiny angled brush to start laying in the marble effect. And there's a lot of back and forth. I'm gonna be layering white and black to kind of create that dimension. You don't wanna go in with too much cream, otherwise it can end up getting really creasy. And then I'm taking the lightest shadow from the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette to set that cream and intensify that white. I'm not really following anything specific, I'm just kind of using Creative Liberties here. And then I'm going in with a little bit more black shadow to deepen up the areas near the white to kind of create more dimension. And I'm also using this to kind of like tamper down any areas that got a little bit too white. I'm just repeating these steps on the lower lash line. So beginning with the white cream and then setting it with the white shadow. I wanted to do a matte highlight, so I'm using that same shadow to highlight my inner corner and brow bone. I use the Tarte Skin Twinkle Palette to highlight my face, and I'm starting off with Moonlight on my Pat McGrath Buffer Brush and focusing this on the apples of the cheeks. Then I'm gonna go in with Sunlight on this tapered highlighting brush to highlight the rest of my face. I kept the eyes matte, so I wanted to make the skin really glowy. There was really no reason for this, I don't know why I did it, but I went with this NYX white pencil just to kind of, I guess, add a little bit more detail. Didn't really work though, no, I wouldn't suggest it. Like I said, it was just a hell of a lot of back and forth. For mascara, I used the L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black. And then I went in with the Blinking Beauté Lashes in the style Samantha. Anyone who wears contacts knows what a struggle it is to put false lashes on. All right, for lips, I'm gonna start off by lining them with the Makeup Forever Aqua XL Pencil. This is M-14. And then I'm gonna go in with the black from the Flash Palette on my Furless Cosmetics PM1 brush. This is just an angled brush.
And then using this dual ended eyeliner brush by Tarte, I'm going to go in with the white color from the flash palette and just repeating the steps that I did on the eyes, following that marble pattern. And then as always, I'm gonna set my face with the Kat Von D Locket Setting Mist. All right, guys, that is it for this look. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I had so much fun filming it. It was like, ugh, I feel like I was in such a creative rut and this just pulled me right out of it. So I definitely wanna do more tutorials like this. And if you wanna see them, let me know in the comments down below. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you in the next one, hopefully. Hopefully I'll see you in the next one. <sighs> okay, bye.